What's up guys, welcome back to Star Citizen. I've got a Cutlass Red, the Drake Cutlass Red as you can see here, the um, medical ship, rescue ship, pretty damn cool. Um, I've just become a subscriber to Star Citizen, yeah, that giant scam of a game, I've become a subscriber to it, because I love it. And um, yeah, I wanted the three monthly ships to see what I get each month, and um, yeah, so here we go. This is the first one, or I actually did have a selection of um, Avengers um, the day I signed up, but I signed up at the end of um, April, and then now we're in May, so we got the Cutlass Red. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this ship so far. Um, I'm just going to take it out and do a mission with it, and show you guys, you know, around the ship and show it in action a little bit, and. Um, yeah, just generally have a bit of fun with it. So here we go, let's get into the back of the ship. You drop it down and you get the nice big uh, ramp. I wonder what you can actually fit in there. I haven't tried yet, but it'd be cool to see what you can get in here. Um, and yeah, we're into the little cargo bay at the back. And um, medical bay is straight through there. I don't know what these little panels on the side are. I've never <laughs> really worked out what they are. They don't do anything, but they look cool anyway. But I really like... Now, this is sad, but I really like these buttons. <laughs> and um, my Avenger Titan has, like, the the image of some buttons on the back of it, but they, I don't seem to really get them to work, so I'm guessing they don't work, unless I'm being an idiot. But, yeah, it'd be cool if they was on all ships to make things easier. I guess we're on a lot of them, but, yeah, they're not on my Titan. These are the medical beds, um, and if you don't know, this is gives you the ability to, um, if you die, spawn back in your ship, as long as your ship's not been blown up and you're within range of it. If I um, went outside now and someone shot me, I would just spawn there instead of in, you know, uh, wherever I'd last been, so Port Olisar or something. Um, yeah, we can see there the beds, and through here we've got the, uh, like, crew quarters or, you know, the main area for the the uh, crew which has got the beds in just there and a little shower room which doesn't have a toilet unless that little thing against the back wall the yellow handles is like a pull down toilet or something um so i don't know what will happen when we get the mechanics for going to the toilet maybe we're gonna have to poo in our hands and throw it out the airlock or something i don't know but yeah now we're into the cockpit got the co-pilot seat directly behind the pilot seat and um i love this animation that is awesome that is Awesome, I love it. And um, I was talking to someone about this panel the other day, and they they like the um, cutlass and they like the um, you know the, the layout of it and everything, but they didn't like the lighting on the the dashboard just there in front of me. And um, I like it; I think it's cool. But I get what they mean. I think it maybe if it's a different color, it'd look better. But um, I don't know. I kind of like the green. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. So, um, but yeah, I love the little layout of the dashboard anyway. All the little panels and everything look really smart. And obviously, like the other cutlasses, this has the um, rotating engines, which look awesome when you leave anywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Epic. So, um... Like I said, we're going to take this out and have some fun with it. Do a mission, doing one of the... Um, what am I doing? I forgot what I've done in this. Um, hmm. Claim Jumpers, that's the one for 10k. Just to take it out and play with a Cutlass Red, really. Um, it's not really what it's designed for. It's not a combat ship. It's a medical ship, obviously. Search and rescue, that type of thing. But them kind of mechanics aren't completely in the game yet. Or at all. I don't think any of it's in the game yet. It's something that's coming later. Um, but this ship actually handles itself rather well in a fight. And um, as you'll see in this, uh, you know, there's plenty of things shooting at me and for me to take out. And uh, yeah, it was good fun. But I do wonder if this is as good, or if not better, than the Cutlass Black. Because the Cutlass Black doesn't have the medical beds, for one thing. And um, I, I haven't had a Cutlass Black, so I don't know what you can equip on it as far as firepower goes. But I'm guessing you can put the same stuff on them. So if you can put the same stuff on a Cutlass Red, you can put on a Cutlass Black. I would imagine the Cutlass Reds would be the better ship to own. Um, but if you've been following my videos a little while, guys, in Star Citizen, you'll know I am a noob. So I don't know whether that's right or not. But just, like thinking about it, if it has got the same like loadout positions for guns and things like that, and it allows you to put the same things on, like I said, 
Um, I would have thought it would be the better choice. But um, yeah, overall I love this ship. I'm glad it was the first ship I got after subscribing. Well, apart from the few Titans I had on the first day I subscribed. But um, yeah, I'm super happy to be able to fly this. And I was instantly glad to be a subscriber to, um, to Star Citizen. Which um, I fall in love with. Every time I play it, no matter what bugs are going on, um, I always want to come back for more. So, yeah, really happy to ship, really happy to game. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this was uh, great fun doing this mission and, and messing around with the uh, Cutlass Red. I did have a few issues, though, with the, uh, the targeting. Even though I had things targeted, it wasn't um, showing me their like, outline all the time. And you'll see sometimes there's like, a question mark or it'll have the... Um, the little uh, the ball that you shoot at to lead shoot things and then no marker of the ship behind it so you don't really know <laughs> where you're aiming like you can see there but um, yeah it was alright I got the job done and uh, managed to work with it I think later on it does sort itself out a bit but yeah I'm not sure what happened here I did have things targeted like I said but yeah enjoy the uh, mission guys and um, I'll chat to you at the end and let me know down below what you think to the Cutlass Red and um, which of the uh, Cutlasses do you prefer and are you looking forward to the Cutlass Blue when that comes out?
and here we go guys just the last couple of um, drone things to take out and that will be the mission complete. When I was doing this, someone else turned up. And I don't know um, whether it was someone from Vanguard or one of the other people on my friends list. Um, I'm not sure, but that's someone else there taking out one of the drones. Or maybe it's just another player. I'm not sure how it works. But either way, this one goes down and I get the uh, mission completion for it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really enjoyed playing with the Cutlass Red and uh, really enjoyed doing this mission with it. It would be cool if some of the other stuff was in-game right now, but it's like I said earlier, it's not. It can still be a super versatile ship though, that's for sure. It's a really good all-rounder with the cargo bay, the medibeds and all that good stuff. Yes, I did lose an engine, I hit an asteroid somewhere in that brawl. But um, yeah, I enjoyed the mission, I'm loving this Cutlass Red. Like I said, I think it'd be a brilliant ship, and I do wonder how it compares to the, the Cutty Black or whether this is actually the better ship to buy. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the mission. I really enjoyed playing with this ship, and um, I'll see you in the next one.